so I wanted the most extreme damage possible to activate all that shit of the platelets, the exosomes, the stem cells in my dick to see if I could facilitate further growth because you know, it's the road to nine, right? My goal and goal by like age 34 is to get to nine. What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at RussoLifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is some cold pressed green chard. There we go. All right, today, Penis enlargement content. Please subscribe for unbiased penis enlargement content as well as the documentation of my penis enlargement journey. If this video gets 1,000 likes, I will do an ASMR sip out of one of these bath mates. I know it won't hit 1,000 because none of you fuckers ever liked the video despite over 1,000 people watching every single video. So there's your enticement. Today I'm going to be going into the pros and cons of water pumps. There are multiple water pumps out there. The ones I have are Bathmates, so I have the Bathmate Hydromax 7 and I have the Bathmate Hydromax Extreme 9. This is the one I start with, maxed it out, and I'm currently sitting with the Hydromax Extreme 9. I'm gonna go into comparisons on the Hydromax versus the Hydromax Extreme, aka the Hydromax Extreme comes with the vacuum pump where this one you just push for the suction, and yeah, let's go into it. So just in general, what can you expect out of water pumps? Well, as far as length, I wouldn't say they're that good at length, although I did gain length during my use of the Hydromax 7. Now, I was also doing penis weights during this time. This was when I started my penis, well, this was like a year, no, this was two years into, I'm five years total into penis enlargement, okay? Start around six and a half, currently 8.2, after getting stem cells injected in my dick, okay? There's been a lot of content that has been covered here. If you're just stopping in, browse a channel. I'm not going through the comments. You actually have to watch my penis content because I made a lot of it already. But I started with this around two to three years into my penis enlargement journey. So as far as like, I was already doing other things basically. I wasn't just doing the bath mate. So that, that's why I wanted to get at, is that it wasn't just the bath mate for all my results. It's like I was doing jelking techniques, stretching techniques. I had my penis weight on some of the week. And I was obviously having sex consistently, right? I've been in a nine year relationship, super hypersexual. I'm not really bragging here. I'm just saying like the stimulation was there to facilitate growth. And as many bases, areas, variables as I could cover, this is just one of the tools in my my toolbox so take that with a grain of salt for my results what I think of this etc etc what's the difference right the Hydromax Extreme 9 or the Hydromax Extreme in general because you can get a 7 in this as well has the vacuum pump does the vacuum pump make a difference yes this is way more dangerous than the hydromax 7 or hydromax 9 without the pump the pump makes a big difference why you get a way tighter seal on the water pump you can get way more tension out of this one and it's painful and the thing that's dangerous about these that no one talks about is you could pass out in the bathroom you could pass out in the shower so you got to keep that in mind when you're trapping that much blood in your dick you are risking you know passing out so you got to keep that into consideration when using either of these products but this one especially that's what they don't there's no warning no nothing Russo here you know father Russo in the penis world I don't want you guys passing out in the shower trying to see how long you could absorb max tension on this right I'll do it for a session at extreme tension if I get too dizzy I take it off and I do stretching or joking for the rest of the shower. Some days I tolerate it fine, some days no. Am I on vasodilators during the time? Am I taking my Gorilla Mind pre-workout which has vasodilators in it? You gotta be careful when using this one specifically. 
So people are like, is it worth the extra money to get the pump? Maybe not at the beginning, but when you're farther along in your PE journey, I 100% think you should get the pump because it makes it so much easier getting a stupid tight seal. Okay, so what is the actual science here, Biohacker Russo, behind these? What's the goals? First off, I've been using GH Secretagogues or GH Growth Hormone in general, something that facilitates higher IGF-1 levels, my entire penis enlargement journey. And I also went from, at the start of my PE journey, I was 205 pounds and I went up to 265 pounds juicing, you know, GH, whole shebang, right? As I grow, everything gets bigger. My heart, my penis, my biceps, everything, okay? So my results from going from six and a half to stupid girthy 8.2 are over exaggerated because I was dumping gasoline on the fire during the whole time. I did not want to be that bodybuilder who looks like I'm compensating for something, right? I don't want to be, you know, how the dudes who buy the lifted truck and then the midget hops out of it. I don't want to be the dude with the big muscles with the little pee pee. That don't make sense. And even when I had six and a half, which is above average, right? The average I think right now is 5.2 and it's shrinking every year as feminism ruins the world you know 6.5 wasn't enough because i got big legs right so i needed to max that out and i'm like a rpg character i just max everything out intelligence muscle penis size a whole shebang right now what's the science behind these the goal for me is to cause angiogenesis and i'll have andrew throw up the google definition so i'm trapping blood in my dick to cause blood vessels to explode and break and that spider webs new blood vessels in my dick now you repeat this over time over time over time over time and you get a girthier dick because more blood flow you get a girthier dick more blood vessel trees forming and the blood vessels getting bigger in general. You combine that with higher IGF-1 levels of tearing the fascia at the base of the dick little by little each time, little by little each time, and everything being stretched and torn, micro-torn, repaired by the high IGF-1. You do that over a course of years consistently with no breaks while having sex consistently, you get results. That being said, I will not worry about length with these devices. These devices are more for girth. So when I maxed this out, and it was definitely an achievement when I finally maxed it out, cause I was at, I was at like six and a half forever in this thing until I finally topped it off. And when I topped it off, it was actually my girth that was stopping this from working, meaning I got so girthy that I needed to upgrade. So they make a seven W one as well. So they make a seven wide one. I would recommend getting the seven wide one over the seven standard one, because most likely your girth will, you know, block this from actually suctioning right over the actual length. So I maxed this out in both girth and length department, and then I moved up to the Hydra Max 9, meaning it did work. I did break enough blood vessels down, my dick would turn like blue and shit, and then the blood vessels would repair themselves, angiogenesis would happen, new blood vessel trees would form, and I would continue the process while doing my stretching, while doing my penis weights, while banging my girlfriend that I love that I get crazy erections for, that's deep-rooted, long relationship sex that's intense, and I upgraded to the Hydromax Extreme 9. This pushed it to a whole new level because this one I could tolerate the entire time. I was, you know, doing my shower activities, washing myself. This one is very hard to tolerate from the extreme amount of damage and suction and vacuum it's pulling on my cock. So keep that in mind that this one's painful and that I've almost passed out in the shower multiple times, modulating the extreme pressure of maxing this out now this was bought because if you guys i'll have andrew throw up the video i got stem cells injected in my penis and exosomes injected in my penis to see if that was worth the hype or not so i wanted the most extreme damage possible to activate all that shit of the platelets the exosomes the stem cells in my dick to see if i could facilitate further growth because you know 
It's the road to nine, right? My goal and goal by like age 34 is to get to nine. So I'm 25 now at 8.2 and I feel pretty capped, right? I feel pretty capped, not gonna lie, but I'm gonna still continue on because I felt pretty capped when I first got to seven. I thought that was it. And here I am at 8.2 on Cialis. So hopefully I can get to nine, but basically would I recommend the Hydromax Extreme right off the bat? No, I feel like that would put a lot of people off and that this stimulation is all that's needed and that this one is definitely for a much more advanced user who's very confident in regulating the pump and knows that they could pass out from trapping too much blood in their dick but this one got me from 7 to 8.2 with the stem cell shot in my dick I've used this one along the way so for those who don't know before the stem cell shot I was at 7.6 now I've just crossed over the 8 mark on Cialis and and this was the way to pull, trap, and activate the stem cells and platelets to further facilitate more blood vessel trees forming, more angiogenesis forming, and more extreme tension forming. As you get girthier, you need more tension for it to work. This used to be super painful when I was less girthier once I passed the toilet paper roll test, meaning if you wanna know if you have a girthy dick or not, simply get super hard. If you can shove a toilet paper roll, if you can put your dick through that, your dick's not girthy, not being a douche or anything, that's just it is what it is. Once you start passing that test, which this let me pass a test, I failed the test before I started using this. The girth does work. Failed the test, once I started passing that, I needed even more tension. The thicker your cock gets, the more tension you need. So you'll eventually need to step up to an extreme series or a series with a pump so you can modulate the tension better. Now, a lot of people ask me, do you recommend air pumps or water pumps? I think water pumps are better, especially when you use hot water, which vasodilates the blood vessels even more to cause angiogenesis even easier so i like to use not scolding hot water where i'm causing first degree burns on my dick but i like to use really warm water that would vasodilate relax the blood vessels even more as i'm giving super physiological amounts of tension to break those blood vessels have them explode and to form new trees to get new girth to get more blood flow and to really chase girth right as far as size i'd recommend stretching as the best with penis weights as the second and the Follis and Forte. I'll Andrew throw up the video. I did the Follis and Forte review, which depends on what size you are, in my opinion, for that. I don't really get the amount of tension I need. I'd rather use a weight. That's just me. You could say weights are too dangerous, blah, blah, blah. It depends on your ability to judge when it's too much tension or when it's just the right amount of tension. So that's my experience and review. Would I recommend them? Yeah, I definitely think it would increase girth over time, more confidence confidence in the bed, better quality erections. And if you do a bath mate right before sex, you won't last that long because you'll be super sensitive. If you did have sex right after you use the bath mate consistently, which I've done, you get crazy endurance when you don't use the bath mate and have sex. So a lot of people have issues struggling in the bed lasting long, which I'm gonna do a separate video. If this video gets a lot of likes, I'll do a separate video on how to last infinitely in bed. Doesn't matter what she's doing, the Gawk Gawk 9000 Slobber Fest, whatever the fuck, you can last forever and I'll teach you how in another video if this one gets good reviews, but that's been my experience with both bath mates. I do really try to use them after every workout consistently. I end up adding around 30 to 40 minutes of shower time, so it is very time consuming. And the only way to get results is by doing them for years consistently. So keep that in mind. Are the results permanent? No results of any penis enlargement are permanent. Meaning if you stop having sex, your penis will atrophy. If you stop using this, your penis will atrophy. If you don't masturbate, at least, I'm not saying to masturbate every day and constantly have your dick turtled and shit, but if you don't stimulate the dick, it will regress. So when people ask me that, it's very dependent. Are you having a lot of sex consistently? If so, will these be permanent? Yeah, as long as you're stimulating your dick all the time, yeah. If you do this for a few months and stop and you've been abstinent the whole time, it'll atrophy back down. But over time, it's like kind of like PEDs. You take so many steps forward, so many steps backwards. Like me at my current size, I'm not gonna go all the way back down to six and a half. But if I stopped everything cold turkey, stopped having sex, 
did not do my stretches or anything and just stopped fucking with my dick other than peeing, I'd probably go back down to seven. So yeah, there would be regression, but at the end of the day, this is like a consistency thing of brushing your teeth. If you want to get and reap the rewards and max yourself out, you gotta be consistent just like you gotta be consistent in the gym. If you stop training in the gym, you're not gonna go back to square one, but you're gonna go a couple squares back. And that's the same way with these products. When you buy these, you're probably gonna get girthier. You're gonna get better quality erections. As far as length, these ain't it. And there's other options and I'll have Andrew throw up the Follison video where I compare the penis weights to Follison and Forte. So check that out. I hope you guys learned something and please comment your questions about these down below. I'll see you guys in my next video.